wealth does not come from praying and fasting and going to house of worship multiple times in the week wealth does not come from wishing and wealth doesn't come from praying in tongues wealth simply comes from our own personal services what we can do that others are willing to exchange for cash wealth comes from services offering services services that people are willing to buy repeatedly at a good price wealth comes from thinking wealth comes from planning as they say from the beginning we all have the capacity to become wealthy that is we have more capacity than we actually need we have more opportunities that we actually need this is like most people die they say most people die with a vision in them with their dreams in them never actually fulfilling what they put on this planet to fulfill but the problem is that like most people fold their hands and just pray rather than taking action rather than walking towards something rather than creating a services they can sell they can exchange there is a saying that most people actually submit themselves to poverty rather than face the opportunity and fight for it and why do they do that of course it's not easy thinking is not easy if thinking was easy there would be no poor person because why everyone has the capacity of living better than they currently living no one wants to exist in this life no one wants to exist no one wants to become nobody but there's 95 percent of the whole world population are nobodies just five percent why and and no one wants to be a nobody so why are there more nobodies than they are some bodies that's because people lack the ability to think most people would just follow order most people would just live a life of existence rather than a life of substance most people would just exist for every single day they exist for 40 years they work for 40 years 40 40 hours a week and they just die and some are lucky they have retirement some don't even make it up to the retirement age and why is that the problem is thinking is hard thinking is hard it is easy to follow someone else's plan as they say if you don't think for yourself you don't if you don't plan for yourself you become part of someone else's plan and a lot of us many of us have become part of other people's plan and that's why you see someone work for 40 years 40 hours a week either they die poor or they retire with no nothing that's because they've just gone through life working this like very hard working people very hard working people they say the hardest workers are the poorest people why because they have become part of other people's plan they have just existed they've become a backup to sort for to to their own movies so it's not because we lack the capacity to change your life to do something better in your life it's just because we lack the ability to do it it's not the capacity like everyone has the capacity to do more than they can everyone has the capacity to live better life than they are currently living but the ability to change the ability to think the ability to see yourself for where you are today and admit it and saying i'm going to change my situation five years from now I'm going to change if I keep doing this. The ability to say to yourself, if I continue in this road, I am not going to get better. Nothing is going to change. I need a change for a change to be shown in my life. The ability to do that, it's more difficult. The ability for us to admit that, man, I'm actually failing in this life. If I carry on this road this same destination this same actions the next five ten years nothing will change it is more difficult for us to accept that than for us to fold our hands pray and hope that things will change say so they say nothing ever changes if you don't change and most of us are not willing to change and worst of all we are not even willing to admit to ourselves that we are not willing to change
Most of us like stand in the front of the mirror and affirm to ourselves repeated affirmation. It's not about repeated affirmation. You can repeat 1,000 affirmations every single day, even when you know you're not going to change. So therefore, you're lying to yourself, not even lying to other people. You are lying to yourself. So that's where the problem lies. We are living, we are practically just existing. Existing. Why? Because we haven't got that ability to change. It's easier to be in a comfort zone. It'd be easier to push things about. It's easier to procrastinate. It's easier to blame others. It's easier to cry that what others, no one has helped you. It's easier. I've actually seen recently a lot of people are so entitled to come out and say someone hasn't helped them. Someone hasn't changed their life. Someone hasn't taken an action to impact their life. So people are so proud these days to say that, to do that. So what I'm saying to you is, once you have refused to change, you have accepted a life of existence. You have accepted that you would just exist in this life. And that's it. That nothing else would change. That you would not become better. You would not live a life of substance. You would not flourish. You would carry on this life and probably pass it down your generation. Why? Because you have taken as your weapon a choice to blame others a choice to wait for the environment to change a choice to wait for people to make changes in your life you have counted yourself as an empty barrel as an empty space as the power is outside your hand like you can do nothing to change your life so until you start looking at yourself and knowing that nothing else will change not even prayer will change if you don't take action you could pray us all you want. If you don't take action, nothing will change. Why? Because God has given you the ability to make changes to your life, the ability to change yourself. It was given to you from the day you were born. That power to control your own self, that power to make changes come to your life, that power to take actions. But most of us still refuse this action. We still refuse this power to look at ourselves and say, man, it is my fault. I need to change. I haven't done anything for the five, last five years. I bet it's time for me to change. Until you start doing that, until you start saying to yourself, I need a better life, I need a better house, I need a better outcome. And how do I do that? I need to think more, I need to plan more. Until you st- stop running to people and looking at people to change your life. Until you stop doing that, nothing will change.